Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Redux Toolkit. So today we are going to learn about the folder structure of the React Redux Toolkit. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So the proper structure is source. We will take it as an app.js, not app. So if you want, then you can do, but source app.js file features. So this is important features. Which feature you're working counter then we have a slice then the component counter.js okay then we have a store then store.js last index.js okay so this is a structure of the react redux toolkit right and this structure is followed by everyone right so first part the source this is the root folder of your application source code so source when you go and check this one this is basically what is it is this is this is a root folder of your application source code so all the data of the files are existing over here okay app so this doesn't require the app part because here we have the app.js already here in the source already so here we have the app.js file so app doesn't require features this is where you organize your applications features or the sections each feature has its own folder in this example, there is a counter feature. So you have a multiple feature folders based on the different parts of your applications. Inside feature, we have a counter. So inside a feature folder, we have typically two files, counter slice and the counter JS. Counter slice in this file, the slice of for that feature. Okay, it contains the reducer action and the selector specific to their counter features. Counter JS is the component responsible for rendering and interacting with the counter feature. It may be used, it may use a CU selector, use dispatch hooks to assess the state and dispatch the actions from the slides. Okay. The last file is the store. This folder contains the Redux store configuration. This is where you create and configure your Redux store using the configure store and Redux toolkit. The store.js file exports the configured store. Last is index.js. This is the entry point of your application where you typically render your app component and set up the React application. Okay. So this is the full fledged React Redux toolkit folder structure. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.